video is about my love and passion for bears. As you can see, I have a lot of bear books. And my passion will keep will get even larger. I thought I would get books about what you should and shouldn't do in in bear country in the woods like these two here I thought about getting books based on the rare attacks that have happened on people like this one here that one there, this one here, and that one there, oh, and this one here, as well as books like this one here on polar bears about all sorts of unique stuff on them. Perhaps that's what that's the one book to have a look at. This one here is the best book of, you can get about polar bears because it has absolutely everything on it. It has what's the the warming of their Arctic environment has on them the um after effects. Because temp if the temperature doesn't stop rising, at the moment it's, it rises 1.5 degrees Celsius every year, which makes it harder for bears to look for, for their food and makes the ice that they need to be able to look for seals the ice itself forms three to four weeks later than it should so in the, in the process researchers in the arctic are seeing more dead bear, dead polar bears bears that are starving are made to go to areas where they normally wouldn't and you don't really want to be near a bear that is basically a bit desperate to have a have a feed This is when attacks on people are more likely to happen. And yeah. And when a bear, any bear species, brown bear, polar bear, black bear, attacks a human being, the animal is usually shot you would think that they would more likely catch the bear and put it in a in a zoo or something somewhere else so it can attack other other people but apparently that costs way too much to do that, so they just shoot them, which is a nice. I mainly bought these books to learn about my my favorite animal and to learn to put what I learnt in my own book 
our own 200 pages book. So, so yeah, this is one of, of the books I used, and this is the other book I used. So, yeah, it's 200 pages. Hand, hand written by me. So, at the end of the day, on the day that I finished the book, I was very happy because in the past I used to have a hard time finishing something that I've started when it came to my writing. I've been writing since I was six years old and it was a way for me to escape the fact that I was getting picked on at school. I was also six years old when that happened. So writing for me was a way to get my feelings out, my, the way I was feeling at the time and basically haven't stopped because I enjoy it that much. So, in the end, no matter what happens in your life, always have that one thing that makes you happy to keep your mind off whatever's going on in your life and you can put all your energy into whatever it is that makes you happy. For me it was animals and playing computer games and coming up with ways that I can keep myself busy as well. So, yeah. So, yeah. And this, hopefully, in the near future, I'll be able to buy more bear books because bears are misunderstood, and I want to teach people as much about bears so they don't have to fear them but love them as much as I do.